Hi everyone, and with the newest Mass Effect game out on the horizon and coming hopefully soon from Bioware, I wanted to talk today about some new game modes that are likely coming in the next instalment. So let's talk about it. Lockhart QT. So with the next Mass Effect game, Bioware have surprisingly been rather quiet and tight-lipped. All we know so far that it will definitely primarily involve single player and that it has been confirmed by Bioware themselves that that will be the case. And we've even had gaming insiders recently talking about the fact that they've heard that the game will return to the classic Mass Effect formula of being a linear single player exploration and combat game rather than being semi-open world like Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, I'm, I'm talking more about the exploration and combat scene in Mass Effect 2 and 3 for example, that's what it will hopefully be returning to. Uh, by the way, click on screen right now or go into the description if you want to watch those videos covering that sort of recent news and rumours and leaks and I, I talked about it in full there so click there for sort of more information about that. But today I also wanted to discuss the other game modes that the game could possibly see coming to it because we do know single player will obviously be the driving, the main driving force of the game but we don't know what else will be in the game so firstly I'd love to see an arcade mode added. My biggest complaint with Mass Effect games is that due to the linear nature of them the main story missions aren't replayable and they are only sort of replayable when starting a completely new save file. So what if for Mass Effect 4 they had a built-in arcade mode? This mode would allow you to play select story missions based on the choices you make during your playthrough with timed objectives, an actual scoring mode and perhaps custom modifiers. Not only would this spice up the playthrough but it would add a lot of replayability to your save file by revisiting those key moments on the campaign as well as your own personal favourite story missions. Now if you're confused by this and how this could work, look no further than the recent Final Fantasy XVI. The game via the Arete Stone has a built-in arcade mode that basically allows you to do what I've explained up above. It allows you to replay story missions that are linear and are sort of those story missions that can only take place in those instances so it lets you replay those with scoring, custom objectives and modifiers. Personally I'd love to see this in a Mass Effect game, imagine replaying, I don't know, the Tachunka mission from Mass Effect 3 for example with custom enemies, modifiers, a scoring mode as well as choosing your, like, different party members for example with different, you'd also get different dialogue and different options per chance. Next up is a co-op horde mode. Now, if you've never played Mass Effect multiplayer, then it effectively works like this. It effectively lets you select a character from all the races available in the Milky Way, and then groups of four team up to fight waves of incoming enemies and solve timed objectives on different maps in a fast-paced co-op horde mode similar sort of to Gears of War if you've ever played horde mode from Gears of War. Now since it's very unlikely the next Mass Effect game will feature multiplayer, again due to development issues going forward and job listings for the next Mass Effect uh, game have really sort of indicated that they're not really looking at including multiplayer, perhaps Bioware could implement a horde mode similar to Mass Effect 3's Citadel DLC where you could pick the custom enemies, party members, add modifiers, the actual map that you're going to play on, the arena so to speak, for better scoring and perhaps by sort of playing this horde mode in the single player campaign you could unlock cosmetics and loot for your main playthrough. Now personally if they do include a horde mode I'd love to see something similar to Gears of War, preferably Gears of War 3. Uh, since that's my favourite sort of version of that horde mode. Uh, for example, I'd love to see either that or Spec Up Survival from the Infinity Ward Call of Duty games where you have sort of uh, like a money system, like a uh, currency, and then you use that to build traps and get better weapons and things like that. I'd love to see something like that in Mass Effect. I think it could work really well. Effectively, like I said, something pretty much bang on to what Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3's horde mode was. I feel like if they bought that in into Mass Effect that would be huge. Now finally I wanted to discuss some weird and wacky stuff here in terms of what the next game could include via the single player campaign. Now since the game has social elements with us sort of role playing as you know you were chatting and hanging out with our companions and squad mates and NPCs perhaps we could do a spot of bowling on the citadel, boxing with our squad mates for combat training, 
racing for uh, of some kind in a vehicle obviously this depends on if vehicles are returning and it, um, what vehicles specifically do return but i think racing on certain planets and sort of like circuits to earn money against perhaps squad mates or npcs would be good and it perhaps could have its own chain of side quests that would be really great as well an in-game casino similar to Mass Effect 3 Citadel DLC where you could do things like Varen Racing and Blackjack and perhaps poker and pontoon and things like that. And then maybe little things on the actual sort of main ship like table tennis or maybe you could go to a different planet and play some golf or even basketball or an entirely new sport that's made up for the f being in the future on an alien planet like maybe for example the Krogans have a different sport completely. Again, a lot of things like table tennis, golf, basketball, they could be doable on the Citadel. And again, maybe they could have their own separate side quests. I think that would be awesome. And again, by playing some of these mini games, you could unlock cosmetics or loot for the main playthrough as well as separate side quests. So in terms of game modes so far, all we officially know from Bioware themselves is that the game will be mainly single player based and focused, with even job listing and comments made by the Bioware devs themselves supporting this. Due to the time needed to make this the best Mass Effect game ever, and to get the game shipped out both on time and bug free because they really can't have a repeat of what happened with Andromeda and Anthem's launches with the next Mass Effect game, this next game has to come out perfect nearly for Bioware to sort of get their reputation back. I really don't see them adding multiplayer co-op or just like a, you know, a PvP mode for example, I can't see that being in the game at all. So if they do stick to single player, Player, I think if they added a arcade mode, a horde mode, and then maybe some little things, sort of a really good example is in, for example, GTA. Not only do you have like the main story, but then you have things like golf, tennis, basketball, you know, those things that way you can do on the side and that she's just there just for a bit of fun. And I think if Mass Effect had these things, it would just be really cool, like these short little mini games. So anyway, what do you all think about these suggestions? Please let me know some of your own in the comments below. What do you want added to the game? I'd love to see and hear in the comments below some modes that I haven't thought of. And please let me know what do you think will actually appear. I mean, personally, I think it will just be a single player campaign and they'll stick at that. But I'd love to see, again, like a built-in horde mode in the campaign, uh, similar to Mass Effect 3 and things like that. So uh, thank you so much for watching. And for more Mass Effect uh, 4 and Mass Effect in general, really speculation gameplay lore videos don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye